respected President of India, Srimati Draupati Murmu, Madam V at the Jawaharlal Nehru University, feel greatly honored by your presence among our myths to bless and encourage our students as well as the JNU epistemic community. As the supreme commander of the Indian forces, you, JNU gives all the degrees to all the military institutions of India, and as that also we welcome you to this convocation on behalf of all our affiliating institutions. Respected Minister of Education, Sri Dharmendra Pradhanji, welcome to India's topmost university. Sir, I thank you for having the courage of conviction to appoint me as the first woman vice chancellor of this great university, keeping in view the vision and mission of our great prime minister. Thank you, sir, for coming and always blessing and supporting our university. Respected Professor A.K. Sood, scientific advisor to the government of India, Sir JNU welcomes you. We have 14 schools and 10 special centers, and we are the only higher education institution in India to produce two Nobel Prize winners. <laughs> Respected V.K. Saraswatji, our chancellor, who is always there for us, for JNU, with his wise counsel and support. Sir, we would like to give, Madam, we would like to give you the progress we have made since the last one year. After, this is our sixth convocation, and this is the first post-COVID convocation after a gap of two years. In this convocation, we have 948 research scholars of the university being awarded the PhD degree. Women research scholars outnumber the male research scholars. <laughs> university is also doing very well with affirmative action. 52% of our students come from the reserved categories of SC, ST, and OBC. JNU is not only known in research and academics, but we have also made our footprint in sports. We are students winning 15 medals at the state level athletic meets. JNU students have won five gold medals at the national para-athletic meet and one bronze medal at the para-athletic international meet in 2022. Madam, you'd be very happy. All these are girl students. Implementing NEP 2020, the flagship program of our dynamic education minister, Sir JNU has introduced several programs which indicate the flexibility and the holistic nature of this framework. We have introduced certificate courses in Uzbek as well as a MA in Hindi translation program and a diploma program in Pali, Natya Shastra, yoga and wellness. We have also introduced, from the next semester, we'll be introducing an MA in Hindu studies. We already have a five-year Ayurvedic biology course, the only course in the country, and the campaign for Hardin Ayurveda, Hargar Ayurveda, began from JNU, madam. And now in our health center, we have a Ayurvedic clinic where the Ministry of Ayush is providing free medicines to all our students. We also have participated in uh, the Hargar Tiranga, JNU may be Tiranga. So we have a 100 feet flag, flies high, heralding our nationalistic spirit and moving into the, uh, what to say, the Amrit Khal as, and with our students. We also have introduced for Tibetan students in India at par with Indian students' fees at the request of our Honorable Minister. In the Azadi Ka Amrit Maha Utsav, we have the Freedom Wall of Unsung Heroes from all over India coming up. We also celebrated the 192nd birth anniversary of Kanti Jyoti Savitri Bhai Phule for the first time at the Jawaharlal Nehru University. 
here I, we are also part of the U.S. Sangamam of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat, where NIT Silchar students were here from 28 February to 6 March. We are also the organizing partner with G20 at Y20, U20, and C20. JNU also has assigned with Springer Nature to publish uh, academic books written by our scholars and faculty. Ma'am, with not only hard power of the armed forces, JNU has now signed an MOU with the National Council for Hotel Management and Catering Technology, where 90 institutes of the ministry will come under the JNU with degrees. So JNU now has hard power with soft power. And we hope we will, in the Amrit Kal, make smart power. I once again, Madam, thank you and the uh, uh, Minister for coming to JNU, where we have tradition with modernity, continuity with change, and realm with region. JNU follows the uh, slogan of Ekam Sat Vipraha Bahuda Vadanti. We have the six Ds with development, democracy, diversity, dissent, difference, and dialogue. And with this, we would like to request the Honorable Minister, as well as you, that we are the abode of Saraswati. Sir, we would request you to give us Lakshmi through the eminence uh, uh, proposal that we have given to your ministry. Finally, I would like to end with saying that JNU symbolizes the very spirit of our Honorable Prime Minister. That is Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Prayas, Sapka Vishwas. In excellence with equality, empathy with equity, and inclusion with integrity. Once again, Madam, thank you so much for coming and giving us your time. Thank you. Mananiya Kuluguru Mohadaya Nivedyate Sammananiya Nam Atithi Nam Swagataya. The Honorable Vice-Chancellor is requested to felicitate the Chief Guest